What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and of course, smash the fuck out of that like button. So, today I got myself a new bike. It's over there. No, that's a girl. Oh, I just fingered a girl. Nice. It's over there, but I don't want to show you too much of the bike today because I plan on doing a separate reveal or test ride or first ride review video. Uh, I was going to do that today, but getting the bike registered took absolutely ages, so I ran out of daylight. So what I figured I would do instead is take the bike out for a night ride, come and show you some of the sights and sounds of Nagoya. And the subject of today's video is how Japan is dealing with COVID-19. This is something that's been driving me mental. And when I tell you about it, I swear to God, you're not going to believe me. But uh, anyhow, let's uh, jump back on the bike and go for a spin around town. All right, guys, so that was the first start up of the bike. Who knows what I've got? <laughs> Make sure you put some comments down below so I can see if you're right or not. But if you want to be patient, then I will be doing the nice uh reveal test ride and first ride on the twisties next day off which is probably not until next monday so stay tuned for that so as you can see i'm in the downtown area those chicks sitting over there are girls that will give you a nice a nice uh, massage possibly more if you uh hand over the cash <laughs> how do they look yeah not particularly good so anyway the main topic of today's little video is COVID-19 and what the fuck Japan is doing about it. So like I said and like you all know, the rest of the world is basically in lockdown. The uh, governments in your country I assume are telling you, don't go out, don't be sociable, try and stay at home as much as you can. Don't go to the theatre, don't go to bars, don't go to clubs, don't go to restaurants. Limit your contact with other people as much as you can, right? That's what they're telling you, right? So, what I heard from my mum in England is uh, she hasn't been able to see my dad who's in hospital. Hasn't been able to see him for three months because she's not even allowed to go into the, into the ward. And my auntie, who lives let's say 300 meters probably less from my mum if they want to see each other they have to keep two meters apart even if you go for a walk with your dog you have to keep away from people and people are going mad about it, like you're too close to me you're too close to me get away so that's how the west is approaching this covid19 epidemic so japan obviously being a sensible first world nation they're obviously doing the same thing right right wrong Japan, about two or three months ago, started a campaign called Go To. Now, the first one they did was called Go To Travel, which is where they would actually give you money, like a subsidy, to go traveling within the country. So, say for example, you wanted to go and visit a hot spa in some, uh, some resort a few hundred kilometers away, and you wanted to take the bullet train there, the government would contribute $100 towards your travel expenses because the economy is suffering due to the coronavirus. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty fucked up when they announced that. I couldn't believe it. But now, now, ladies and gentlemen, they've created another campaign. This time it's called Go To Eat. So, yes, traveling on the trains in an epidemic is not bad enough what they now want you to do is go to restaurants and eat out and then they'll give you about 30 dollars to pay towards your dinner in certain restaurants uh hello what the fuck now this is where it gets even funny if you want to go into a restaurant like any of these i'm just coming into the fushimi area in this city which has quite a lot of little little restaurants like chain restaurants and izakayas and pubs and stuff if you want to go into one of those you have to have a mask on you're not even allowed in the front door unless you have a mask on but once you've sat down picked up the menu and ordered your 
delicious yakitori dinner and a pint of asahi super dry, you're allowed to take your mask off. So, yeah, where's the sense in that exactly? So I just could not believe it. Now, this, the GoTo Travel started about three months ago maybe, and a few of my friends um, have taken advantage of it. They've gone to uh, some resorts and stuff like that, and my wife's friend has used it three times so far to go traveling once to a spa, once to some kind of like beach resort before winter kicked in, and once to some uh, kind of sports thing, like a, like a yoga, what do you call it, like a camp, like a yoga camp or something. And yeah, that, that person, that particular person, didn't see why there was any, any harm in doing that and was overjoyed that the government had given her 300 bucks to pay for her, for her little travel. And that's per person, by the way, so she went with her daughter as well, so she basically got $200 per trip, so $600 in total. So yeah, that's completely outrageous as far as I'm concerned. Like, I'm not particularly... Uh, a Covid freak, I'm not really worried about wearing a mask all the time and all that shit, but yeah, for a country that prides itself on hygiene, I just cannot believe it. But as I was thinking about this today, because I was stuck in the uh, vehicle registration office all day thinking about what kind of video I should do, I was reading the news on my phone and actually the new Prime Minister or President, whatever you want to call him, has started to get some uh, abuse about this. So his like uh, popularity polls or whatever, it was like 63% popular um, two months ago and now this week he's, he's uh, gone down to 50% so he's losing votes or losing uh, support because of this and you know rightly so but the whole world's economy is suffering and everyone else is just you know persevering but yeah this guy thinks hey we should all go travelling and eat in restaurants which is just bananas but um, yeah, I just I couldn't believe it and I'm guessing that most of you guys who are watching this video won't believe that shit either because I bet where you live it's full on fucking lockdown isn't it? But uh, yeah, I just I just completely mind blown over that. Right, and another thing I read on the news today on uh, NHK. Now, in recent times I keep getting messages from my family members who are, you know, back home or whatever saying, oh, I just saw on the BBC World News or whatever that Japan has had a massive, a massive spike in uh, corona cases. And I'm like, oh, really? I, never, I didn't know that. Uh, it was, until recently anyway, it, it wasn't really reported on the news about, you know, new cases or deaths or whatever. But today, finally, and uh, purely by chance as I was thinking about the topic, the topic um, they've actually started talking about it now. So they've said in total in Japan since this whole epidemic started there's been 2,000 deaths in total. And I think uh, new cases in Tokyo there was like 2,600 new cases over last week. Which is the highest it's ever been in this country. So I guess people are starting to take it more seriously. And the fact that people are kind of getting um, angry or upset the fact about the government doing these like travel cam campaigns is obviously a bit of a, a good start I guess. Um, but how it's affected me for example it hasn't affected me whatsoever. When it first started they cut the working hours at my job but only by two hours. So they said start at 11 o'clock not 10 o'clock and uh, go home at 6 o'clock not 7 o'clock. So you know, what the fuck difference does that make? Absolutely none. Uh, but aside from that, it hasn't affected me in any way whatsoever. Like all the bars were closed for a few weeks maybe. But again, that wasn't strictly enforced either. So smaller bars, you know, like one man band kind of bars, they were still open. And a lot of them were just like turning the lights down and, you know, sort of doing it hush hush, like, yeah, we're open, but we're not open kind of thing. But, yeah, I don't think anyone is taking it seriously over here. Now, you would probably start to, you know, look around your, your streets or wherever you live and notice that everyone's wearing masks, obviously. But that's been like that in Japan since forever. Even when there's no epidemic, everyone wears a mask. On the trains and on the buses and stuff, even just walking around, everyone wears a mask. So that's nothing, nothing new here. So, 
that side of things hasn't changed whatsoever. The only thing that's different now is, you know, some shops have got signs saying you're not, not allowed in unless you wear a mask, and they all have uh, like hand sanitizer at the in the entrances and stuff. But aside from that, I haven't been affected in any way. And you know, my job being uh, an automotive job, uh, going to the registration office like today, there was thousands of people in there. Uh, I'd say everyone except. There was these three like Arabic guys were the only people in there not wearing masks. So yeah, everyone is wearing a mask. Oh, let's go straight. But uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? How is how is it in your country now? I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and uh, uh, YouTube and stuff today saying like, hey, lockdown's over. But you know, we, we, ne we never had a lockdown. There was never anything. Uh, you know, like you can't go out, you can't go to work, nothing, nothing happened. There was just a few weeks where bars and restaurants were closed. Uh, kids didn't have to take time off school, hardly anybody's job got stopped. You know, there were some people in big offices in Tokyo and the foreign companies like uh, IBM, Microsoft and Boeing and stuff, they, and Mitsubishi, they all had to start working from home, you know, using Zoom. Uh, which, where did Zoom come from all of a sudden, by the way? What happened to Skype? Um, but yeah, aside from that, absolutely no different. And uh, it was quite funny on the radio the other day, the, the DJ, which for some reason in Japan they call Navigator, I don't know why. The Navigator was proudly, it was like a, a, a hilarious how proud she was about it, saying the companies that have made the most money since the corona epidemic are one was Zoom, that made, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, and the other one was a mask company and a hand sanitizer company. And she was all, like, so happy and proud and giddy about it, like, oh, that's so good for those companies, they made so much money. Like, made money off of everyone having to do it because they're being told, you've got to wear a mask, you've got to do this, got to do that. So everyone just following the rules has made all these companies that were already rich even richer. And uh, funny, another funny thing that I probably um, probably get kicked off YouTube for saying this, but I've got a friend who's a doctor here. Quite a few friends who are doctors actually. Uh, one of them is an oncologist, so he works in a cancer ward. And he told me that cancer deaths are down 50%. I was like, what? What do you mean cancer deaths are down 50%? Why is that? And he said, because the death certificates all say corona on them. I was like, whoa, 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 wait, so did they die from cancer or corona? And then he just gave me like a funny look like, mm, I'm not saying because I don't want to get in trouble. But uh, yeah, I think there's more to this than meets the eye. What's going on? I really don't have a clue and I don't want to get into it because then I'll be uh, in the same category as David Icke and I'll probably get my platform demonetized or, well, it's not monetized anyway, but I'll get deleted off YouTube or whatever. So I'm not going down that street, but I think there's more to this than meets the eye. And uh, I'm not saying anymore. My, my lips are sealed. So anyway, that's the end of my little rant about how stupid Japan is. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So make sure you stick a comment down below, guys. What bike have I got? What is it? You want to hear the engine quickly? There you go. What is it? Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Bye!